have you go ahead and read this problem about um, distance, rate, and time. It's a motion-related problem. You should read a story problem two times, three times, five times to get familiar with it. Um, could I could I help you? This is one of the harder problems for folks: um, speeds, times, rate, you know, distances. Could I pre have you pretend you're driving down the highway? So would you picture yourself in your car driving along? All right, 70 miles an hour. Let's use 70 because that's what you're supposed to drive, and it's an easy number to work with. Say you go 70 miles an hour for three hours. How far have you gone? 70 miles per hour for three hours. Haven't you gone 210 miles? Let's write that down. So this is not related to the problem at all. You've gone 70 miles per hour for three hours. And when you cancel these units of hours, just like you do with fractions out, and you multiply these two numbers together, we find that we've gone 210 miles. And the words that describe that is miles, because the units of hours have canceled out. So first of all, could I get you to recognize that if you want to know your distance, you need to take your speed or your rate times your time. So your 70 miles per hour times your time gave you your distance. So all I'm trying to do is to get you to recognize why that formula works. So that's the first thing. All right. So next, um, Tom is in his Mustang, and it travels 30 miles per hour faster than Fred's Malibu. Miles per hour, is that a distance, a rate, or a time? So you got to stop and process that. That's a speed. That's a rate. Tom, his rate is 30 miles per hour faster than Fred's. Let's Fred's rate be x. And let's let Tom be x plus 30. So we've got to, since we're comparing um, Tom, whose Mustang travels faster, to Fred's, let's let Fred's vehicle travel at a speed of x, and then Tom will be x plus 30. This happens, it happens that in the same amount of time, Fred can travel 75 miles. Miles, is that a distance or a time? Fred, 75 miles, and Tom will travel 120 miles. In the same amount of time, let's just, let's just come here maybe and put the word same right here in the time box. In the same amount of time, um, one of our options is to put t's in there in both of those boxes, but then I got to solve a system of equations. This is so much easier if I just solve a rational equation. So now I've got to I've got to step aside. Totally different thought here. Distance equals rate times time. That's the formula we're using here. Instead of putting t's in here, I'm going to put a fraction in here using these two expressions. So I want a fraction, so I'm going to solve this equation for another variable. I want to solve this equation for t. So I'm going to divide both sides by r in order to get t alone. So I have just discovered one of the other things that I do when I'm driving, driving down the car, I keep my eyes open though while I'm driving down the road, and I know that I've got to go, oh, I don't know, 420 miles to get somewhere into Tennessee. So if I've got to go 420 miles, in my mind, I'll divide by 70, because that's the speed I'm going. By, going. So 420 divided by 70, and I'll go, oh, that's going to take me about six hours if I don't stop. So I take my, the distance I have to go and divide it by my rate. Well, that's what I'm going to put right here for time. I'm going to take my distance of 120 and divide it by my rate of x plus 30. And right here, I'm going to take my distance of 75 and divide that by my rate of x. Because these two... Are, happen in the same amount of time, I'm now going to set them equal to one another. So I'm going to get rid of the statement. I just need you to know why I put distance divided by rate in the spot for time. And so now I'm going to set the 120 
over x plus 30, I'm going to set that equal to the 75 over x. And I have a rational equation to solve, and it's a proportion, so I'm just going to set the cross products equal. I'm just going to set 120x equal to 75 times x plus 30. And so over here, I've got to distribute the 75x, and 75 times 30 is 2250. And then I'm going to subtract 75x from both sides of the equation. Running out of space here. I think this will be um, 45x. And my ink is not working. Boy, I'm having trouble with pens. Um, and I'm sorry, here's an x. Let's divide both sides by 45. So we'll divide by 45. And I believe that goes into there um, 50 times. X is equal to 50. Geez, what is X? Let's go back and look at the original um, box here. X under the rate column X. Because I want to find their speeds. So it looks like Fred is traveling. So I'm going to say 50 miles per hour for Fred. That's his speed. And if Fred is 50, Tom is 30 more than that. So I've got to state that Tom is traveling at a speed of 80, so the 50 plus 30. So I've got to say 80 miles per hour for Tom because I do have to report both. I found out what X was, and then I had to report both of their speeds. This is one example of a, of a motion problem that involves rational equations. Much easier to solve like this than to solve with two letters, so to have an X and T's here. I think we'll try to do one more in our next clip.